Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Welcome to my channel, Learn Math with Sayyad Ali. So we have some more practice of ratio and proportion and then solving the uh, fraction, making the fraction into a linear equation and solving for variable. Right, so this we have been practicing. So a few word problems are here. A tub of 500 grams of butter cost dollar five and 48 cent, 5.48 dollars, five dollars 48 cents. How much cost of 180 gram of butter is? How much cost of 180 gram? So what is given is 500 grams versus the dollar value, right? So we can all we can do it in two ways, but uh, one way, the easy way, is creating a ratio between the two quantities. What is what is known quantity? Five hundred grams of butter, right? So five hundred is the grammage, and what is the cost? Five dollar forty eight cents. What does it equals to? One eighty gram gram versus five hundred gram versus 180 gram and the cost is unknown so c is the cost for 180 gram so if we have this then we know that this ratios can be written as 500 divided by 5.48 as a fraction right is equals to 180 divided by c and what is the next step to make it linear and to make it linear, we cross multiply. So the numerator of the left hand side multiply with the denominator of the right hand side and vice versa. So what we get, we will get C times or 500 times C times C equals to 180 times 5.48. So we want to calculate C and this 500 is being multiplying with C and we want to shift it to the other side of the equation which will do the opposite function and sit in the denominator. So 500 is here multiplying, but to the other side of the equation will be in the division. So if we have this calculation, we, our new cost will be coming out as 1.97. So this is the cost in dollars, right? So what was the question? Question was that 500 grams of butter cost is known, right? $5.48. What is the cost of 120 grams of butter? So we calculate 120 grams of butter will be 1.97. Question can be asked in any ways or in, with any language, but you need to understand that when you take gram first, then you in the other side of the equation, you have to take the gram first, right? So... The ratio is same grams versus dollar grams versus dollar the new cost will be 1.97 dollars second question how much salt does karen need for 20 serving if 10 serving needs half teaspoonful half teaspoon of salt 10 serving right so again we have to equate the ratios 10 serving is uh, utilizing half teaspoon this is 0.5 right and what he is looking for they are asking for 20 serving how much salt is required so here serving first so here also serving first 20 versus what is required is salt right so we say here salt that is unknown quantity for 20 serving what is the next step next step is to put it into fraction form so 10 divided by 0.5 is equals to 20 divided by salt and then cross multiply to make it linear why we cross multiply to make the fractions into a linear equation so 10 times salt quantity which is not known is equals to 20 times 0.5 right so now 10 is being multiplied here with salt so it will go to the other side of the equation and sit in the denominator because it will be dividing and if we multi cut it 10 1 the 10 10 2 the 20 2 times 0.5 is 1 
which is half of two, right? So one teaspoonful is required, one teaspoon. This is the answer, right? It is actually the oral question, but you need to understand that how you will solve it, maybe without uh, using pen and pen, uh, paper. Uh, you can do it in your head as well, but you have to practicing it so that you know that, okay, which will go in the denominator, which term will go in the denominator to calculate the required unknown. Question number three, how many serving can Alex make with two cup of sugar? If half cup of sugar make 10 serving. Again, 10 serving is to half cup, half cup is 0.5, right? So 10 serving, here serving is not given, here cups is given first, right? So that means serving is unknown. How many servings? I put serving first, be careful. 10 is 2.5, right? So 10 is the serving. How many serving can Alex make? So serving is unknown here. So serving versus serving. And then you will be saying that, okay, two cups. How many serving will two cups will make, right? Then you put into fraction form, 10 divided by 0.5, S divided by two. Then you do cross multiplication to make it linear. So serving times 0.5 divide is equals to 10 times two and serving S is equals to this 0 0.5, 0 0.5 will go to the other side and sit in the denominator because it is division. And when you solve this, 10 times two is 20, 20 divided by half will make it 20 times two, which is 40. So 40 servings, right? Answer is 40 servings. So if you are using two cups of sugar, that means that will be adequate for 40 serving of the recipe, right? Sometimes another question is asked. So just for practicing, I am giving you more examples, right? So it has got two parts. How many bananas are needed for six cups of flour? How many? bananas are required how many bananas are required or needed for six cup of flour for six cups of flour for six cups of flour if two cups of the flour need three bananas if Three bananas are required. If three bananas are required, two cups of flour requires two cups of flour. So again, the relationship is given. One relationship is given and other relationship has got one unknown right so we have to make the ratio and how to make the ratio three bananas is used with two cups of flour right three is to two this is what given three bananas are required requiring three bananas requires three bananas requires two cup of flour right three bananas requires two cup of flour what he's asking how many bananas are required for six cups of flour? So what is given? F cups of flowers are given. What is this first thing is bananas. So be careful. Unknown is first and then six cups, right? Because this is bananas to, bananas to cups ratio. Bananas to cups ratio. So you have to keep the same. Bananas to cups ratio. So right? Then the next step is easy. You convert this into the fraction form, x over six, right? And then next step is to write cross multiply so that it is linear. So two times x is equals to six times three. And you need to know the value of x. So two is being multiplied there. So six times three divided by two. And you cut and you have two on the two, two, three is a six. 
And what is on the top? Three times three is nine. So nine. How many bananas are required? How many bananas are required for six cups of flour? So the answer is nine bananas. So if one ratio is completely given and the other ratio has got one thing missing, then you can equate them in terms of ratio and then solve the variable which is unknown. So another practice question, maybe you can pause the video and try it by yourself and then see the solution. You must be able to solve it by yourself. How many, how many bananas are required? How many bananas are required with 240 gram of butter with 240 grams of butter so it is actually related to the previous recipe it's the same thing but we are making it a word problem how many bananas are required with 240 grams of butter if three bananas if three bananas requires 120 gram of butter 120 grams of butter right so how many bananas are required with 240 grams of butter if three bananas requires 120 gram of butter so one ratio is complete with respect to three bananas and 120 grams of butter. What is the other relationship or ratio? That is how many bananas? So first is banana. I put banana first. So B is to 240, 240 grams of butter. We want to find out how many bananas required if we want to use 240 grams of butter. So we have the ratio equation uh, and then we write it in a fraction form, three divided by 120 is equals to b divided by 240 right and then next step is cross multiply so b times 120 is equals to 3 times 240 what we are looking for is b quantity of the bananas right so b i we need to isolate it and what is happening with b i have 120 and 120 is multiplying with b so it will go to the other side of the equation and sit in the denominator because it will be dividing so it always does the opposite operation and if we simplify this we will be getting b is equals to six bananas right so with 240 grams of the butter uh, six bananas are required this is my answer right so hopefully you understand this how to set the ratio and then make that ratio in terms of the fraction and then making that fraction a linear equation and the linear equation has got one variable you have to isolate that variable to calculate the value of that variable so uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button to receive the next video thank you for watching